vlog so right now it is 5 44 waking up with your girl just brush my teeth just wash my face y'all see me oh <laughs> y'all ain't even know i was that ripped no <laughs> okay nah but for real y'all ain't even know i was like that because your girl be working out so if you didn't know now you know okay but it's time to go work out okay so every morning i go work out with nba vet 14 year veteran kendall gill couple other guys out here always work out with kendall every summer so um i'm gonna take y'all so we need to go because kendall gonna be on me if i don't get there by six o'clock and it's 5 44 and that place is about like 15 minutes away so we're gonna get started i'm gonna put on my stuff and i'm gonna meet y'all in the car y'all know before i pull off i gotta play my music right so let me see i gotta cut the music gonna cut the ox on and get lit so today's workout is gonna be sponsored by ah, y'all already know if you don't know now you know this is a j cole stand account youtube account twitter account instagram account all the accounts okay j cole is that <laughs> boy ah y'all listen to the off season by j cole go listen my mama is looking out the window while i'm vlogging like girl why you watching me okay <laughs> but okay i'm gonna get copyright so i'm just gonna sing the song to y'all okay it's like 100 million i'm still in the crowd 100 million i'm still in the crowd 100 million i'm still in the uh ooh! okay so go listen by 100 no go listen to 100 mil by j cole it's a hit i'm gonna do acapella for y'all y'all ready all right he said how come i ain't into his prime still getting better after all this time okay whatever snap so i am on my way to the workout right about now y'all see me driving like i'm a big girl oh my gosh We here at 605. Yes, I'm late. Nobody asked, okay? Um, nobody has to know. <laughs> so my let's do a GQ 10 essentials, but really it's gonna be my slight workout essentials, okay? So my workout essentials are hmm, I'm gonna show y'all. Okay, my workout essentials are my phone because it's sponsored by J. Cole, so we gotta listen to that music. AirPods because this is how I stay focused. Hopefully, they're charged because I forgot to charge them because I was vlogging. Water because I'll be dying. And the cockies because you gotta get back in. Okay, so we gonna step out. Oh my god, I got all this stuff in my hand in the camera. This is not working for me. Well. So Got people running. It just be a couple of us out here right right now simply because the program hasn't started. And I'm trying to get in shape before the program start because Kendall wants me to be a coach for 6040. So gotta get in shape. I'ma let y'all meet a couple of these characters. I'm doing a day in the life today. Don't you wanna get on my vlog? Yeah, get on your vlog. Okay, come on, come on. Introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Daryl. They call me Double. Um, I'm he out here late every day. And it, it always goes down <laughs> when I'm with this group. So you want to go to the next one because I'll run up this all day long. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bob. Say hey, Bob. I will not run it up all day long. I'm good. I'm good. Romello, you tired? No, not yet. Not He's tired. not yet. Y'all don't know Where's Kendall? He's late. Uh, now I'm gonna get him on the vlog. He's you late. Lower your life up. Nobody's late. Everybody's on time. You're always on time. If you make it out here, you're always on time. Right. So I'm gonna get my warm up started, y'all. Gonna put this stuff down. Y'all see me finna see me get activated, okay? Cause we gotta get this work in. Cause I need to get back by like seven o'clock. It's six or eight now. Um, so I'm gonna stop talking and 
Y'all gonna catch me work out, okay? Before I work out, I got one more person to introduce. We're starting an evolution, not a revolution. <laughs> All day, every day. <laughs> How you feeling? You warmed up? I'm ready. I'm ready to get it in. You ready? All right, I gotta get warmed up. So we finna get warmed up. But that was Nick. Nick is the pro athlete, okay? Super, super tough. Be killing it out here, okay? I'm not sponsored by no music today because my AirPods are freaking dead. So, he's gonna be in my mind, okay? <laughs> but y'all finna catch me run. Um, so today I got 2,400 yards and like workouts in between. Y'all gonna see, Kendo ain't right. I'll be down. But, okay. <laughs> It's 6.34. Look at me, I'm cute. Here we go. Um, what, that took me less than 30 minutes? Um, I'm tired, y'all. I can't even hold the camera. That took me less than 30 minutes. Um, so I ran 2,400 yards. And you do exercises in between every 500 yards. So whatever exercise it is, you do 20 of those. I'm tired, man. Okay, y'all see Kendall in the back. We gonna go over and, and talk to him. How All you right. feeling? What you gotta say? Uh, 60-40 life, forever. Period. Period. We're <laughs> out here getting in shape. All the coaches are out here doing 60-42.0. Can't wait till May 31st. Okay, now you gotta say something to Jake Paul. Jake Paul, <laughs> get in the ring. <laughs> Stop running from me. Stop boxing guys that can't box. <laughs> Come back and fight the NBA. You're not fighting Kendall Gill, you're fighting the NBA. Jake Paul, I'm gonna show you your bullshit ass punch. So, so, so Nate Robinson was running like this into him. Jake Paul, he always come back like this and he closed his eyes, he goes to the right and he throws his right hand from his hip and he goes like this, leaving himself wide open. Only thing, he could he could hit Nate with anything because Nate is like this with no defense coming like this, right? So Jake Paul just throw like this. He caught him in the back of the head, messed up Nate's equilibrium. Right. Then Nate is on the ropes, and then he starts, starts running like this with his chin wide open. All Jake Paul, boom, just come like that. Right. Easy. Like really, in the front row or something. Really, what, really, really what Jake Paul is, he's a low level amateur with a boxing license. That's what he is. And I said it, Jake. Go tell your trainer, BJ Flores, Jaleon Love. I got respect for those guys because they're real fighters. Send the contract. <laughs> they training you because it's the money. They, they following the money. But they know you ain't shit. Ooh. They know you ain't shit. Those of y'all who see Kendall on MBS Chicago, whatever, that's how Kendall really act every day, okay? So he's been trying to fight Jake Paul for months. <laughs> and um, he ain't letting up. So... Every day, you know, I get to hype him up like, yo, what you got to tell Jake? And he be going on a tangent, y'all. Out the shower. Um, it's 7.57. Y'all see the Grady Media group chat popping up already. We got a meeting at 9, so I'm on Central Time. Um, but y'all see my edges. This ain't cute. <laughs> and it's your girl first day. So, can't be looking bad even though it's virtual. So, I'm going to just, you know, comb the edges out. Don't be over here judging me because I'm not finna do no... Spectacular edges. I'm gonna just lay them down. This is some edge control my mama got. So I'm sure it probably don't work that good. But <laughs> ah, I know she's gonna watch this and be laughing. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to. Because I don't got no mirror, y'all. So I'm trying to look at myself and do these edges. And then after I do my edges, I need to cook some breakfast. Cause I'm hungry um, after that workout and things like that. So we just gonna, that should be enough. We'll figure it out, okay? Cause I can't even see for real right now. So, okay, this is probably terrible. 
It'll do though. It'll do. Okay. I'm gonna catch y'all with my edges done because I need to see this mirror. And y'all in the mirror and y'all in the way, so I catch y'all with a sec, okay? Alright, I'm back. Edges are done, and then we're gonna put a scarf around there for all my black girls, y'all understand. <laughs> Gotta put a scarf around to keep your edges laid down, right? And then you're gonna take it off when they dry. But come on now. Nail stuck in the hell. Just just too much. Okay. So you're gonna put the scarf on and we're gonna lay our edges. And then we gotta eat some breakfast. So my mama decided against my breakfast. If y'all haven't had these. Jimmy Dean's Meat Lovers, So Clutch. I've been eating these at school. When you need to just go and you need some food, they work. So this is what we're going to eat today. Um, I'm going to eat this and get some orange juice and she probably going to get some coffee. Um, so, yeah. A quick little breakfast, microwavable breakfast. But they be kidding, okay? I don't know about y'all. It's apple juice people, and it's orange juice people. If you're an apple juice person, just log off now. Drink orange juice, okay? Orange juice is 10 times better than apple juice. My mama don't like orange juice for some reason. I don't know, but it's good. Y'all see I got my meal. So now I'm finna do my daily eat. Scroll through social media, gotta catch up on everything that's happening, so. So I have a lot of tasks to do today. Um, my first day, like I said, with Paragon Marketing Group is today. Excited about that. See what they have for me this summer. Also, got Grady Media meetings. Um, supposed to record a podcast with Joshua. Stay tuned. Um, what else am I doing? Really a lot of work. Honestly, it's really a lot of work. I'm taking a summer class right now. So, it's just meetings, work I need to catch up on, grading media work, figuring out what Paragon needs me to do. I have a meeting with them at 10.30. So, you guys are just going to go through just a regular day in the life with me of what it's like for me this summer. Um, to be taking two summer classes, two internships, working out, having a podcast, keeping up the YouTube, all of those things. So, just get a raw version of, like, what your girl be doing every day. So... I usually don't be in here because my mom would be loud on the phone, <laughs> doing work. <laughs> so I go in the basement. So I'm going to go in the basement soon when it's time for my meeting. But right now I'm just chilling on social media. Y'all see the light. The melanin is hitting me right. But yeah, this is kind of our little morning routine. This is what we do. Finishing my orange juice. And I'm going to catch y'all at my first meeting. Got this 9 a.m. meeting for Grady Media. Um, as you can see, got my planner, um, writing out everything that I need to do today. Got my emails pulled up. So I got my regular school email pulled up, my Paragon email pulled up, CESPN research, things like that. And most importantly, I have this meeting at now. As you can see, it's 8.54. Let me zoom in. I'm ready. So I'm talking to you guys, but 8.55, I'm going to be in the Zoom meeting. And... Really, the main thing, like, why I started this YouTube is just to show people the sports journey, etc. But one of my biggest pieces of advice um, that I really got from Adam Figman, who's the head chief content creator for Slam Magazine, he said, treat everything as if it's an audition. And I've been knowing Joshua for over six months, and I've been with the team for over six months. But I guarantee you, I'm always going to be one of the first people in there, sometimes even before Joshua. And that's just something that I live by. You always just should, should be proving yourself, showing people that you're here, you're adamant about working hard, et cetera, because that, your work ethic and all of those things are gonna stand out. And then besides your work too, right? Being exceptional. So that's key for me, always being on time. I'm huge on being punctual. You wanna be in sports, be punctual and be available. Always be available. So it's 8.55, um, finna open the Zoom link. We gonna hop right in, draw a video. So yeah, I'm here and y'all see, I am the <laughs> first person uh, so yeah we gonna wait for everybody to hop in and then I'm gonna introduce everyone and also y'all if you have meetings a ring light is key okay it lights your face up makes you look good 10 times better than you probably look without one so I'm gonna let y'all in on our meeting and we gonna get started I'm doing a day in the life Joshua say hey say hey Jason what's up what's up good morning guys 
You know what a damn light? Hold on, I gotta get my screen up. What's good? What's good with it? You're all sir, huh? Yes, look. This is a YouTube channel? Yes, it's for the YouTube. Oh, for YouTube, okay. Mm -hmm. What's good, y'all? If y'all not doing so right now, y'all already know, subscribe. <laughs> okay. Hit the subscribe button, drop a like, five star review on, on the audio, all the things, tap in. Period. Okay. Kind of touch base. Uh, I think a few more people will be on, but if not, it's all good. Um, let's just go, like I said. Let's well, I mean, I know everybody on here, but EJ, like, we haven't really met for real. Um, and Matt, we haven't met um, for real. But I'm Anaya. Um, met Joshua through the Asian Academy. Been on the team for a sec. Got my own podcast, YouTube, um, in school right now. So, yeah, it's nice to formally meet y'all, but everybody else I know. I'm a marketing advisor. I do marketing. That's my major. Um, and taking y'all on a little day in the life, right? So quick marketing one-on-one. There's a company, um, really marketing, I think there's lots of inspiration, right? So I was watching a podcast. There's a company that was brought up and I was like, boom, that's a great company and a good opportunity for our potential players, Jason Pinnock and Grant Stewart. Perfect. So now my next step was I got to figure out who at this company works here. How can I get their email? How can I get in contact with them? LinkedIn is key, y'all. Type in the company. So I'm not going to say the company, but type in the company. And it's going to bring up the employees and you just figure out, okay, is this a person in partnership? Is this a person in sponsorship? Let me reach out to them. You can get their emails, contact information, etc. So right now, what I'm doing is we want to send out emails late at night because that'll be the first email that they'll see in their inbox when they wake up in the morning. So hopefully we can get a response tomorrow. Today's Monday, tomorrow's Tuesday. So I'm going to send the email later Monday night, but I'm prepping the email, right? So really just always be honest and transparent. So like, for example, I'm not going to say the company, but I'll show you like a quick little what I'm doing. So, you know, good morning. My name is Anaya, blah, blah, blah. I work for this company. Woo -woo. It's not focusing. I don't know why. But you guys get the gist. So really drafting up an email right now for a company just to potentially see if there's some synergy to market our players. So the key is to try to get on the phone with the company because um, that way it's better through email. So I'm just prepping and formulating my emails so we can send them off tonight. So that was on my list. Check, did that. And now we got some more work to do. Y'all, Grammarly, okay? Put things in Grammarly, literally it will change your life. When you're sending out big, big emails like this, the key thing is to proofread. This is your first impression, you may only have one. So you just wanna make sure um, everything's cool. So I got that email together. Um, I'm gonna draft it up and send it to multiple individuals that work at the company. You wanna get more than one person who works at the company. If you can, find the contact simply so you have a better chance of getting in their ear. They know you're persistent and multiple people have heard from you. So it's like, okay. Maybe we got to hear this person out and give them a meeting. So that's checked off my list, the rowdy, I mean, the, the email. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to do do some more work now. I got to work on a prospect presentation today, work on marketing presentations, get a list of graphics for our great media designer that we need to make, um, work on something for a client, break down podcast snippets that I'm having for my editor, Danielle. Um, and also, yeah, so it's a decent amount of work to do, but I love it. It's only 9 a.m. Imagine waking up early at 5 30, getting to work out and eating breakfast, had a first call, and now you're getting work done. And I mean, you should be done before 5 p.m. So that's the goal. Oh, I guess, yeah, you know, tell you the ones, what's up with the boys? That's cool. <laughs> but I'm gonna get my strawberry banana smoothie because it's hot. Miami sucks. I'm the bus coach. Let's go. <laughs>